Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. In this video, I'm going to be going over the top news and stories from this past week in the world of artificial intelligence. But before I dive in too much further, just want to let you guys know about this free guide that I created on the best free AI side hustles for 2024 and beyond. Now you can find this in the video description or pinned comment below. And this just explains some of the side hustles that I personally used to make five figures a month in passive income online. So just a lot of good information that I put a lot of time into and I hope you guys enjoy it. So back to the news articles here, guys. The first one that is definitely worth mentioning is OpenAI announcing that its custom GPT store will launch next week. So I actually got an email and let me just put this out there too, is you have to be a member of ChatGPT Plus in order to access or use these custom GPTs. So I think that's something I need to say right away. Um, and that's the reason I got this email is I am a member of ChatGPT Plus. It says, Dear GPT Builder, we want to let you know that we will launch the GPT store next week. If you're interested in sharing your GPT in the store, you'll need to review policies, brand guidelines, verify your builder profile, publish your GPT as public. So if you do have the paid version of ChatGPT Plus, all you need to do is go in here to your account, click explore, and then it'll come up to this menu here that says my GPTs. And you'll see here, I've actually created some myself. I've created a YouTube thumbnail generator, a content creator, and also a news reporter for news articles that I like to rewrite. So um, the custom GP2 store, I'm very curious to see how it will pan out. Uh, I, you know, one of the creators I follow, Matt Wolf in the AI space, he says, unpopular opinion, the GPT store isn't going to be as big of a deal as most people make it out to be. 99% of GPTs will be created and have nothing proprietary about them and anyone will be able to just make their own clone out of it. And I completely agree with that. I think there's going to be a select few of GPTs that are extremely useful, uh, but there's going to be so many, I mean, thousands and thousands of these GPTs that are going to flood the store that aren't really going to do much in my opinion. So I completely agree with that. Um, GPTs, obviously there's a page here on OpenAI's website when they announced this on dev day, if you're curious about GPTs or want more information. Uh, the other thing too, I think is important is this usage policy. So back to the email, it talks about, please review our usage policies for GPT. So if you were interested in creating a custom GPT, make sure you look at the usage policy here too. Obviously no illegal activity, uh, malware, you know, anything illegal, um, fraudulent scams, adult content, uh, political stuff. Uh, make sure you're just going through this and not creating anything that violates their guidelines. So uh, they're not going to allow you to be in the GPT store if you're violating the usage policies. So very curious to see how this is going to pan out here. And The Verge took a screenshot of this and I'll leave a link to this article and every other article that I talk about in the video description below. So that's the first big piece of news, obviously is that custom GPT store. So guys, the next piece of news I wanna share with you is that Microsoft has announced that they will be adding a Copilot key to the keyboard of their Windows 11 PCs. I'm on an official press release from Microsoft here. And guys, if you're unfamiliar with Copilot, this is essentially the rebranded version of Big Chat. It works extremely similar to ChatGPT. And the best part about Microsoft Copilot is, is it's free to use. If you don't have a ChatGPT Plus subscription for 20 bucks a month, I would be using Microsoft Copilot because you can get access to the GPT-4 language model for free. You don't even need to sign into an account to start using it. So back to the story, the story is, and there's a short video here, that they're gonna be adding this Copilot key right on the keyboard of Windows PCs. So this will be really cool. Instead of going to the website, the Copilot website, you can simply just click a button, and I'm assuming it's integrated in the machine with more functionalities, but you can just click a button and start using Copilot right Right away. So that's a pretty cool story that I thought was worth. Next story I want to share guys is that Google appears to be working on a more advanced version of Google Bard that will cost a premium subscription. So I am on the verge for this article and they start off saying right here that Google appears to be working on an upgraded version of Bard called Bard Advanced. That'll be available through a paid subscription to Google One as shared by developer Dylan Russell on Twitter. So here's his tweet here. It says Bard Advanced with Google One. Google will allow you to get three months of Bard Advanced on them through Google One. 
Bard Advance will use Gemini Ultra. Now, if you remember when Google Gemini was first announced, there were those different tiers of the different types of models. It was Gemini Ultra, um, and I forget the other two, but there were two other inst uh, two other models of Gemini, and I do remember seeing the Gemini Ultra. So my question here, guys, is this going to be similar to ChatGPT Plus? So is this going to be the alternative for 20 bucks a month? Uh, for Bard Advance versus ChatGPT Plus. That remains to be seen, um, but I would check this article out for more details. Just something I thought was worth sharing uh, that Google is working on a more premium or advanced version of Google Bard. So this next piece of news that I thought was extremely interesting is this story from ReadWrite, and I'll leave a link to this below, about this AI system called DeWave or D-Wave, um, where it's AI mind reading. So this system can apparently translate thoughts to text. Now, this story goes on to talk about how Australian researchers have developed the technology to translate silent thoughts from brain waves into text. So AI mind reading can now take what's ever in your mind and translate that into text on a machine is from what I'm understanding here using something, I'm not even gonna pronounce that, to record neural activity or brain activity. Scientists at the University of Technology, Sydney, UTS, achieved over 40% accuracy in early experiments, and their hope is DeWave's AI could enable communication for those unable to speak or type. So that is something really interesting. That's actually very cool. You know, obviously there's a lot of doom and gloom with this type of AI mind reading technology, uh, but it talks about down here, paralysis patients. It can do a lot of good, guys. There's a lot of good that can come from these AI tools, even stuff that is about mind reading. So it goes on to talk about how Elon Musk's Neuralink chips, you know, those are big in the news several months ago. Um, so it was tested on data sets from subjects reading the text with both brain activity and eye movements were monitored by matching EEG patterns to eye fixation, indicating recognized words, words, excuse me, DeWave learned to decode thoughts. So just really cool, guys. The very first sentence, it says straight out of the pages of a science fiction novel. So AI is accelerating at such a rapid pace, and I expect that to only continue in 2024 with stories and advancements like this one. So guys, the final piece of news I want to share in this video is this 2023 year-end report on the federal judiciary. No, I'm not going to bore you and go through this entire PDF, um, but what I found important after scanning through this is that on page five, they acknowledge artificial intelligence in the legal system. And from what I understand, this is one of the first times that the Supreme Court has acknowledged AI, both positive and negative, in a big year-end report report like this. So let me go back and find it here on page five. They start here. It says, and now we face the latest technological frontier, artificial intelligence. At its core, AI combines algorithms and enormous data sets to solve problems. Its many forms and applications include facial recognition, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so then it goes down to talk about proponents of AI and all the benefits that AI can cause in the legal system. Uh, but then it says here, but any use of AI requires caution and humility. One of AI's prominent applications made headlines this year for a shortcoming known as hallucination, which caused lawyers using the application to submit briefs with citations to non-existent cases. So it's talking about the positives and negatives that AI could mean in the legal system and how this could really impact certain court cases, um, laws moving forward. Um, AI is here and AI is not going anywhere. So the fact that it's on the Supreme Court's radar now as they come out with this big year end report um, just shows me how important and how serious the Supreme Court is taking AI moving forward. So that's it, guys. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Really appreciate you watching these videos. Be sure to like this video. Comment below if there's any stories that I missed from this past week. And guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope you all have a great day.